welcome back to Solomon Labs. Today we're going to talk about how these YouTubers, these YouTuber journalism, <laughs> like like these guys are ridiculous. What do I mean? Well, they bashing technology without truly understanding what in the world it's about. I'm talking about people like CNET, The Verge, Marcus Brown, um, Sam, nothing but tech. You get my point. All these guys, oh, it's the worst product ever. I don't know why. Like, what are you talking about? It's the worst thing since bacon and cheese. And by the way, bacon and cheese ain't that bad. I don't eat meat, but it still smells good. I digress. But nevertheless, it's crazy. Like, these guys never, ever built anything in their life. I'm talking about tech-wise. They never did it. They never dealt with truly designing a robot. They never dealt with truly building a product. They never did it. Here at Solomon Labs, that's what we do. So we understand the process. We understand what it takes. We understand the quality of process. We understand the, the time it takes to develop a product. These guys know nothing about that. So all they do is being an end user, being a consumer, being uneducated to the process, and never been a part of the process, comes in and criticizes everything, and says the worst thing ever since mankind. Like, seriously, it's crazy. And, and I say that, and I say that because what's happening now is that a lot of these people, a lot of them coming on YouTube saying, oh, why? They just regurgitating what the last guy said, what the most popular guy said. For example, when Marcus Brown came out and said, oh, the human pen is the worst product ever, or Tesla, whatever he's talking about, everybody jumped on the bandwagon. Oh, yeah, yes, it is. Some of them don't even have the product in their daggone hand. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? i seen products. i seen products. Like, like go look at it yourself. Marcus Brown talked about, for example, a Tesla truck. He makes his, 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 you know, his, his so-called analysis on it, right? And then you see all these other people jumping on the daggone bandwagon. And a lot of them don't even have the vehicle. They never even test the daggone vehicle. Like, what are you talking about, man? Seriously. Did, t had Marcus Brown built a truck before? No. Have he ever sat there and designed a robotic system? No. Answer is no to none of them. Have he ever even done anything? Have he ever worked for a company that actually designed? Have he been on a team to come up with? Sorry about that. Have he ever been on a team that came up with designing something and went through the whole process? Have you ever, do we even know anything about that? You get what I'm saying? Do we know anything about something called uh, Six Sigma? Do we know anything about that? Answer is no. He don't know the process. Him and uh, all the other guys I mentioned, like CNET and Verge and, and, I mean, and Gadget. Like, what are you doing? So, for example, let me just show you something. Now, they sat there and they criticized him in AIPIN. AIPIN. They never going to come back and really critique it or look for any type of updates to say, oh, by the way, they are better than the product. They're not going to do that, right? Instead of saying, you know what, we're going to come back a couple of months. We're going to see what the product will then I develop, and we're going to take it from there. They outright bashing the product and not saying we're going to do a follow-up on the product and see if it got any better. Now, there's been months now, and you can check it yourself. They never came back and said, oh, by the way, Hermaine AI Pen, oh, they making a lot of updates. Or Rabbit R1, yeah, they, they made a lot of improvements. They're not going to do that. They move on to the next product. Why? Because this, for them, is just entertainment. But unfortunately, for a manufacturer or producer, it could, be a it could destroy their whole business. And that's what they don't get. This is why I don't announce the type of products I make and I sell I don't announce them. Why? Because this way, I don't have to deal with idiots and stupidity as these guys are. I don't have to deal with that nonsense. You know what I'm saying? So I don't talk about what I make and what type of products I'm coming out with, anything like that. I don't put no name to it. So all you know, you probably buying something I made and you don't even realize you're buying it. <laughs> That's how it goes, right? Because we can't have these these midnight guys coming through, uh, Johnny come late, never never been a part of nothing, not educated to the tech world, and just because they're, they're what? They're a nerd, they love it, 
oh, I love it. I, I, I've been doing this for 10 years, but I never built nothing. Like, like, let me ask you something. I know I'm going on. I got that. But this stuff like this gets you frustrated, especially from a producer manufacturer perspective, right? Here at Solomon Labs, you notice we don't put out a lot of videos like that. Why? Because we don't have time to throw out videos every day because we actually got to make stuff and build stuff. And, you know, you get the point. But let me ask you something. Imagine you being a real estate agent. And I want you to think about this real quick. And some of you out there probably are a real estate agent or you, are, uh, or you, are, you sell cars or something of that nature, right? Right, or you buy, or you got Mercedes Benz, whatever it is, a house, a Hyundai, electric car, whatever you have. Let me ask you, or you, or you might be a doctor, you might be in the medical field. Let me ask you something. If you, for example, let's take something which, which we all correlate to, pretty much most of us, you know, correlate to at least. You have you a real estate. Imagine you're a real, you're buying a house, you're buying a house, right? Would you want a real estate agent that have bought and sold many homes, and also maybe even have a home? Or would you want a real estate agent that never ever owned a house before, never, you know, living with their mommy, right? Never really sold anything to really come to you and give you the best perspective or give you the best analysis of buying a home? Would you want that? Or would you want maybe a doctor that never got a medical degree, never just read books all the time and tell them about, I'm gonna do surgery on you? You get my get, do you get what I'm getting at? The point here is that you got to take information from people that actually experienced it and been through that. You get what I'm saying? Like these guys, the Marcus Brown, the scene at the Engadget, all these guys are just a bunch of journalists. They're a bunch of tech gurus, as they want to call themselves, but they're really just, they just, they just uh, fanboys of technology. That's what they are. They're literally fanboys of technology. That's no good. Because now what happens is you give people the wrong information. It's just no good. Now, with that being said, I'm going to show you something. Here's the main iPad. Here's the main. Can you? I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. So this is the main uh, website, and if you can see there. I hope you can see it. It says a change a log. What they done was they have done a lot of improvements. They have added uh, the latest uh, ChatGPT 4.0. They have uh, upgraded some of the stuff from Gem to Gemini 1.5 Flash. They have done a lot of software improvements, right? So where's the Marcus Brown, the CNET, the Engadget, the Verb, the N? Where are the so-called tech guys, Google, whatever you want to call them? Where are they? They're not even going to tell you that, oh, by the way, they updating the technology. They're not giving a follow-up. They're not going to do it. And that's a problem. Because now you don't even know you doubting a product that might actually be suiting you and could be beneficial to you. Get what I'm saying? So here's uh, Solomon Labs. I just want to put that out there. You got to be careful about who you obtain the information from. If, yes, I understand they want trying to talk from a consumer perspective. But I I disagree with 100% of you just saying it's the worst product ever when you haven't, when you yourself are saying, oh, yeah, we need to give the product some time. But then you don't do a follow-up on the product. It's kind of a disservice to people that might actually need that product. For example, we ordered the Humane uh, AI pen. It should be coming soon. We're going to use it. We want to see, it, see if it fits into our business model because we like to have, you know, we want to see if it's convenient for us, right, as far as, communicating with other employees or dealing with customers, whatever it may be, we want to see how that might fit. So we're like, hey, why not give it a chance? Give it a shot, right? And like we said, it's, you know, it's got a phone service, got its own separate phone service, which is okay for us, but we'll do a more follow-up and we'll let you know how that's going to work out and we'll come and show you the whole, the whole product. Uh, we should be getting another week or so. Um, the point here, guys, what I'm last thing I'm going to say is, guys, be careful of the information you receive. It's better to receive information from those who've been a part of something, from those who actually been a part of the process, rather than from those who never had no clue at all on what it's about. You can't just be a fanboy like these guys are and talk about, oh, it's the worst product ever, and you're just a fanboy. Like, like if you're going to really talk about technology, you also have to give a, you have to critique it better than say, oh, look at this. It doesn't do this. It doesn't do that. Like, seriously? Like her main AI pin or the rabbit on one is made for a specific purpose. And you're trying to fit these products 
the Rabbit R1 or the main AI pen as if, guess what? It's a cellular phone. And they literally tell you it's not a cellular phone, but you're still trying to fit it, fit it sorry, as a daggone cellular phone. We know it's not a cellular phone. So why do you keep critiquing it and comparing it, even though you say you're not, but you really are, to a daggone cellular phone? It's stupidity. It doesn't make any sense. It's like saying, you know what? I'm going to be running track. And you know what? We came out with these new shoes, but why these shoes ain't soft and cuddly on the bottom? Why they don't uh, support, you know, why they not comfortable playing basketball? Don't you get it? It's a pair of sneakers you need for that job, not a pair of shoes. And same thing here. Things like the main eye pen, the Rabbit R1, they are there for a specific purpose, not to replace a cellular phone. It's just not that. It's the, for a specific purpose. And I wish these guys would take more time and step back a little bit instead of critiquing and criticizing just so they want entertainment and get some clicks. That's all they're doing. Anyway, here at Solomon Lab, we'll be back. We got a lot of products to go over, review. As you see, we are a business. We do build and create stuff. So we really don't have time to put our videos like that every day and every week. If you notice, we don't put our videos like that because we really have time to do other stuff. But we do reveal products that we try to see if it fits. Um, we will be coming out with some reviews on some other products, some 3D scanners that we use. And we want you to see that, how that works out, such as the Rev Point. We want you to see how that works out. Um, and we got a whole bunch of other stuff we testing as well. Start also cleaning products, things like that. But anyway, Simon Labs, subscribe, hit us off, leave a comment below. Until next time, you know what? We'll talk.